Hey everybody, Vinnie Palmer here. I'm getting ready to do my first mix for Capstone. It is a mix of the Commonwealth Project done in fall um, 2015. So I just want to get it the mix started. Right now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to get the files loaded and make sure they're all okay. The first thing I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to start at sounds um, and make sure that my input is multi 828 my output is multi a 28 that's the that's the um interface that i'm using the the converter i'm using should i say so i just want to make sure that's all set to go now i'm i actually i'm going to start with a template we made a template in 2311 and it's a really great template and so i'm going to use it here here it is right here i'm going to start from this template get it get it up as you can see it's loading um, and what's eventually going to happen is you're going to see all the files loaded up and everything's going to be blued out because it's bypass and that's the way I like it I want everything bypass I've also set up a mix IO and I'll show you that in a minute but once it gets loaded up I'm going to import the files but I have a couple steps that I'm going to take right before I import just to make sure um, everything is named properly, saved properly, make sure all the files, you you would be surprised at how many people I have taken projects from who have files missing, I can't open it, blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to take a few steps just to make sure it's named properly, saved properly, make sure everything is correct. Um, first thing, on the setup page, just making sure we're in 44.1, 24-bit. I can record higher. A lot of people say, well, you know, you you should record 96 because it sounds better. Well, I really haven't had too much evidence to, to back that claim up. So I'm going to say that's not true. Um, but you can decide. I'm going to name this RAT 2990 because we are in the RAT program. We're just going to try and use the correct naming format um v palmer sorry i'm typing a little slow because i only got one hand anyway um i'm just gonna name it i'm just gonna name it commonwealth just name it commonwealth commonwealth let's say commonwealth mix how about that Okay, and I'm going to have it saved in my rat folder. That way I know it's there. Okay, that's the first thing I'm gonna do. There it is. Wait, let me make sure. Yeah, there it is. Save. And as you can see, it's restoring all the tracks. There's a few things that I'm gonna do while I'm, once once the session opens up we'll wait for it to load up here all right so here's the session on the screen now what you don't know is i actually have another screen um but i'm not going to tell i'm not going to worry about it um but i'm going to use that screen while we're working but a few things just to make sure we're we're cooking with grease here um as you can see it is not on the correct playback engine so i'm just going to change it to mo 828 now selecting this playback engine will automatically save and close your session the session will be reopened when you are done changing settings are you sure you want to proceed yes okay so so you close the session it's going to reopen it again and now when i open it it's going to say mo 828 boom I'm going to leave the buffer size relatively high because this is a mix, not a tracking session. Okay. Um, let's go to disk allocation. Check this. Check it. Check it. Check it. Check it often. Okay. Um, as you can see, everything is going to the Vinnie Palmer Lacey Rat 2990 drive. That's the way I want it to go. All right, now I know it's gonna be there. I don't have to worry about trying to find files and make them work for this thing, that thing. 
I know where they're going to be. Okay. Um, so I'm going to hit OK. And let's look at the I.O. First thing I'm going to do for outputs, let's just go here and command A, delete path and default path. And now it's set up for the Motu 828. Same thing here. I'm going to go here and control A. It'll be all highlighted. Delete path, delete and new path. It's a little weird, acting a little weird on me. Um, not sure why, but we'll see. Oh, I, I know why. I know why. It's because my computer is, is set up really weird a little bit now. I'm going to have to go back and recalibrate it. But um, because this, this program is actually using one of the input paths. So, but we have an output path, our bus. I am actually going to go ahead and import my IO settings. Where would I import my IO settings from? I'm going to go back to the folder that I got my template from. And there's my IO setup. Vinnie Palmer makes IO open, delete unused buses, and I have my IOs the way I like them. I have named them. I, I know what I want. I know what I'm looking at so that when I start my mix, I don't have to go back and go over stuff and figure it out. Everything's already named. Everything's already processed and I'm good to go. Okay. So we're going to hit okay. And there we have it. So now I'm ready to import now. So the next step is let's import some files. Now, one thing you don't want to do, you don't want to, let's go to, let's go to audio. So I'm going to let's go to the drive that I want to import from drive 2990. Let's go to Commonwealth. And there are all my sounds. Everything's labeled. And now, as you can see, the add button is highlighted. Never, ever add. Never, ever, 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 ever add. Always copy all. Because if you add, what's going to happen is it's going to leave all the files where they are. So when somebody else opens it, the files are going to be still on your drive and not on, not in the actual session folder. So don't click add, copy all. Now they're all there. They're all ready. 44.1. We're good to go. Done. Audio files. Let's make sure the audio files are going to the right one. And it wants, yes, it's going to audio files. Open. Processing audio will let that process for a little bit. And what's going to happen is it's going to create all new tracks for me. And it's going to put the tracks in the session. And it'll be up to me to route them. So now we have a session ready to go. Audio files ready. Everything is good to go. All we need to do now is start the mix. So in the next video, you'll see me actually start the mixing process but i just wanted to start off with creating a session making sure the audio files are where they're supposed to be making sure that they get saved in the right folder making sure that the disk allocation is right and everything can work that's the most important thing that when you're ready to mix everything should work everything should work the way you want it to work Let's make mixing easy, okay? So as you can see, now all my tracks are there. Everything's ready. Um, I trust that it has been edited. It's been lined up because B-Boyd and Pyatech are pros. 
And there you have it. The session is ready. So next video, we'll start mixing. Thanks for watching. All right.